Hi, welcome to the Me and My Base series. In this series, I will bore you with some interesting facts about some of the bases or base related, audio related stuff I own. I will tell you how it pushes it and why further I will tell you my humble opinion about their playability and their sound. Today, I like to uh, dwell upon the fact that it's exactly three years since I started this humble channel. Hip hip hooray. First of all, I didn't expect that now more than 500 people on a regular basis watches my rather unprofessional and very quick sometimes reviewing of all sorts of stuff. Uh, you also can ask the question, is there, by the way, any gear you don't like? Well, as I'm still colorblind, tone deaf and haven't got any musical skills at all, yes, I like everything. Let's nuance that a little. It's not entirely true, of course. I don't like everything. Certainly there are bases or base related things which are not good. But if that's the case, what's the use of bringing it to your attention? Just the best thing. I don't feel I'm the proper authorized person to do so. Although I'm making music for almost 40 years now. No, if something is bad, I won't review it at all. Uh, and let me tell you, in my humble opinion, I only found one base which wasn't that good, but even that thing had good points. Okay, the official statement is over. Let's again enjoy the very first base I reviewed on this channel, and that's the Squire Pete Wentz base. It's still a great aggressive sounding base. I combine it this time with the Duck Panic DP3X pedal. And uh, well, let's, let's give it a go. I would like to thank everybody for the support and hope to see you next year for the fourth anniversary. <laughs> and that's it for this episode. I hope you liked it. And if you do uh, join the festivities, I would say uh, if you like this kind of content, please subscribe and like this video. Again, I checked 93.7% who watches my videos isn't subscribed. Please subscribe. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.